So, we have a circle, we have a diameter, we have a point K that divides the diameter into lengths A and lengths B. We have the origin located here where the radius is equal to the average length of A plus B over 2. We draw a perpendicular bisector at K, which connects with the origin to form a right angle triangle. The height of this triangle, which we'll call Y, and the hypotenuse of this triangle is just the radius, which we'll call R, and the base of this triangle is just X. We can see that this is also the radius, and A plus, K, A plus X equals R, and therefore X is equal to R minus A. We know from the Pythagorean theorem that y squared is equal to r squared minus x squared. And let's just substitute x equals r minus a. y squared equals r squared minus r minus a squared, which is equal to r squared minus, we expand, r squared minus 2ar plus a squared. And then if we just take out the parentheses and we get r squared minus r squared minus negative which is plus 2ar minus positive which is to subtract a squared. The r squares cancels out and we're left with y squared equals 2ar minus a squared. Remember r from earlier is the radius which is equal to a plus b over 2. y squared equals 2a a plus b over 2 minus a squared. The 2s cancels out and we're left with y squared equals a times a plus b minus a squared. y squared equals a squared, expand this out, plus a b minus a squared. a squared cancels out a squared, and we have y squared equals a b, or more simply put, y equals the square root of a b. And from here, we can conclude that y equals the square root of a b. Yay! And in the diagram, you can see that y will always be less than or equal to r. The only time y will be equal to r is when a equals b equals the radius. And in that case, k is at the exact same place as x, and it won't be a triangle anymore, it will just be a straight line. And from here, we can show that the amgm inequality of a plus b over 2 minus the square root of a b uh, is small is greater or equal to um, this square root of a b finite